Picture and there's a there's a black house or cube. This is heavyweight champion of the world by way of Brooklyn. Part of the five pillars, Khabib, like many Muslims, make this journey once in a lifetime. If you're physically and financially able, it's the first house of worship. Get this built by Abraham to commemorate the worship of the one God. Remember, Islam is based on five pillars. Well, anyone can be a Muslim. Habib Todd Berger came here from the U.S. Of Jewish ancestry, raised a Christian. He converted to Islam two years ago. All pilgrims here wear the simple white ihram, and all markers of social status disappear. So my family has concerns and issues. Mm -hmm. um, and they also recognize that I have a deep connection with God, with the one God. I believe that people have no idea what Islam is. Originally from Texas, Habib now lives in California. He says his biggest challenge is to change misconceptions in America about Islam. It's, it's unfortunate that the media in the states has portrayed Islam as it is um, because there's no connection between terrorism and Islam. As Arafat day draws to an end, many like Habib continue their prayers in the spot where Muslims say Prophet Muhammad delivered his last sermon. The other four pillars, if you didn't know, are to testify what's in your very nature. It's natural to believe in the Creator. They've done scientific studies of the God spot and all of us at Oxford University not too long ago they did a study and they concluded that the belief in a creator is intrinsic it's innate it's built in all of us this belief is something acquired so you do something that is natural that's within your capability that you give birth to what's already inside you that there's nothing worthy of worship nothing in the creation except the one who created the creation the one God the creator and Muhammad is the last and final messenger. This will automatically include, not exclude, every messenger that came before him with the same message. Submit your will to God Almighty Allah. That is the first pillar. Second is to establish the prayer five times a day minimum. Not because God needs it, because we need it. We need a recharge of the heart to keep it humble. Otherwise, we get, we get taken away by this temporal world and we don't. Remember, we forget that this life is a test and we got to prepare ourselves for the day of judgment and we're going to be judged and evaluated. Just like in high school, college, there's an evaluation. This life is that. And those five pillars help us to remain cognizant of our purpose in life. And the third is giving in charity to the poor, zakat, fasting during the month of Ramadan, and this is something Jesus did, all the messengers of God did. They were all Muslims, ones who submit to the will of God. Khabib is a Muslim, one who submits to the God. You could be a Muslim, anyone could be a Muslim, anytime. This is what a Muslim is. 
And it was our humble attempt to familiarize you with some of the things that this MMA fighter does. So next time you see him, you watch him, you can appreciate them. It's not something, something that is foreign to you now, strange. We've connected it to things that you can relate to. And if you want to know more, call us 1-800-662-ISLAM and reach out, connect, visit the Muslims. You know, there's a lot of misinformation out there. I quoted you from Time Magazine, all of these, these books that have been published, the, the industry of bashing Islam. But we need to connect as humans, connect as humanity so we can work to make the world a better place. And we're not going to do it through fear and fear mongering. We're not going to do it through this hate. Hate breeds hate. We need, this is that, that, that educational process that will help solve these problems. The human connection is another main factor. We're doing our small little part. And I hope that you can tune in with us every week to The Dean Show, where we help clear many of these misconceptions. And to our brother, Habib, God willing, this gets to him. We can like to have you. been on this show, that show, Ariel Hawani show. You can make it, inshallah, with your brother on the Dean Show. I have my people reach out to your people. And inshallah, God willing, we can make the connections and we can get to meet and have you on the program. Thank you very much, everybody tuning in. We'll see you next time. Same time, same channel here on the Dean Show. Like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Peace be with you. Assalamu alaikum.